Hey, what's up mga bubuyog? Your math biz friend is back for another video and we're back for another example for the Newton's Law of Motion. So, yun mga biz na example number 3 naman tayo. Let's go and try to solve this certain given problem. Okay, so sabi dito, no? A block has a mass of 6 kg rest initially on a plane inclined at 35 degrees. So, syempre, meron ulit tayong ramp, no? Kasi naka-inclined naman yan. So, let's assume that it's a ramp, no? So, mag-draw na lang ako dyan. Kunwari, ramp yan, no? So, ang ganda ng ramp natin. So, naka-inclined siya dito, guys, no? At 35 degrees. So, sabi, meron tayong block dito. Block dito. So, sabihin, kahit box lang yan, no? Yan. Tapos, sabi, 6 kg daw yan. What value force is required to stop the block from sliding if first the plane is frictionless? Okay, so let's solve first. Let's, before we move on, mga bis, no? Mas magandang identify natin kung ano yung mga forces involved dito. So first, no? The force required to stop the block from sliding. Ibig sabihin, kapag mag-slide yan, syempre, pababa yan, di ba? So, 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 syempre, nabubur. So, syempre, yung force para mapastop yan, mag-slide pababa, eh, yung force na pataas, di ba? So, mag kailangan ito yung force na hinahanap natin. Okay? So, aside dito, ano yung mga ibang forces involved? Always take note na kapag meron tayong ramp dito, meron tayo dito weight, yung weight ng block mismo, di ba? Kasi 6 kg. Ngayon, it's directed downwards, perpendicular sa horizontal. No? Okay? So, Siyempre, ngayon, kailangan nating hanapin kung ano yung nasa x-coordinate niya at y-coordinate niya. Yung nasa y-coordinate niya, that's the normal force, di ba? That's the F sub n. Dito yung weight niya pala. Tapos, mga bis, yung nasa x-coordinate niya, siyempre, pababa yan kasi, di ba, nakagravity nga, di ba? So, yan yung humihila sa kanya pababa. That's F sub g. Or pwede nating yung ilagay dito, which is F sub g. And this is also the same as 35 degrees ang gulo ng drawing ko. Ito yung ating weight. Tapos, gagawa tayo ng triangle dyan. Ito, guys, that's 35 degrees. Ito yung ating F sub N. Ito yung ating F sub G. Ito, nakadirect upwards. Ito, nakadirect downwards. Okay, ngayon, mga bis, solve na natin kung anong value ng mga forces na yan, di ba? Kasi given naman yung 6 kg natin. So, first, solve natin what's our weight. Kasi ito yung weight, di ba? Ang weight natin, mga bis, don't forget them, that's mass times gravity. Ang mass natin ay 6 kg times yung gravitational acceleration due to gravity. Char, ulit-ulit lang. 6 times 9.8, no? Grab your calculator. 9.8 times 6, that's equal to... Uh, let's go to whole numbers, mga bis, no? Para hindi tayo mahirapan. Pero kapag nirequire ng teacher nyo na 3 decimal, 2 decimal, then comply. Okay, so 58.8, so let's round off. That's 59 newtons. Okay, that's a unit of force, newtons, di ba? Alam natin yung weight. Alam pa natin yung F. Paano natin masasolve yung ating F sub N? Ang ating F sub N, mga bis, no? That's, okay, subscript dapat yun. Ang ating F sub N, mga bis, ay equal yan sa weight. Since F sub N ito is adjacent, gagamit ng cosine kasi nga ka, ba? So, weight, cosine, 35 degrees. However, for F sub G, since F sub G is uh, opposite ng ating angle, so, 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 katoa, SO, gagamit tayo ng sine. So, weight, sine, 35 degrees. Okay, ayan. Palagi nilang tatandaan na kasama ng normal force ay cosine, kasama ng gravity ay sine. Okay? So, ayan. Solve na lang natin to mga bis. Since alam naman natin yung value ng ating weight, which is 59 newtons. Uh, lagay nyo sa calculator. 59 cosine 35, mga bis. Meron tayong 48 newtons. Tapos, uh, 59 sine 35, eh, meron tayong 34 newtons, no? Okay? Hindi natin isosolve. Wala tayong, hindi natin isosolve yung ating uh, frictional force kasi nga sabi sa ating Problem letter A, no? Frictionless pa lang siya. So, wala pang friction dito. So, move on muna tayo sa pag-solve ng uh, problem sa ating letter A. Alright? So, solving letter A, mga bis, no? Sabi dito, ano yung value ng F? What is F if frictionless yung plane? Okay? So, sa since sabi dito, para hindi mag-slide yun, so, para hindi mag-slide yung block na to, kailangan siyang maglagay ng force dito para at rest pa rin siya. And so, at kapag at rest siya, we can conclude from the Newton's law of motion na it is in particle equilibrium, di ba? Sabi natin na kapag meron, nasa particle equilibrium tayo, meron tayong dalawang conditions or either of the two conditions na mamit, we can say that it's in particle equilibrium. First is at rest siya. And second is at constant 
velocity mga bis. So, it's either kapag at rest or at, at constant velocity, we can conclude that it's in particle equilibrium. Dito sa ating problem, eh, sabi naman, required to stop. So, kapag nakastop siya, it's at rest. So, it's in particle equilibrium. From this alone, kapag na-conclude yun na nasa it's in a particle equilibrium, you can say that the summation of forces in the x-axis is equal to zero in the forces in the y-axis is equal to zero. Okay? So, ito yung magiging equation natin para ma-solve natin yung mga unknown forces dito. So, since dito, alam naman natin that the summation of forces in the x-direction is equal to zero, di ba? So, ano yung mga na nasa x-direction dito, mga bis? We have this F. And we have this F sub G, di ba? Ito yung pataas, ito yung pababa. Okay? So, we will make the forces going upwards positive and the forces going downwards negative. So, itong F, that would be equal to 0 is equal to F minus F sub G. Kasi yun yung pababa. So, therefore, we can now solve for the value of F. Since alam naman natin kung ano yung F sub J, di ba? So, F is therefore, nasod natin na F sub J is equal to 34 Newton. So, ayun mga bis. So, if the plane is frictionless, ang force na kailangan mo dito ay 34 newtons para hindi siya mag-slide pababa. Alright? Okay, question letter B tayo. Sabi niya dito, meron na siyang static and kinetic friction which is equal to 0 0.2 and 0 0.18. So, 0 0.2 ito yung ating mu s at at 0 0.18 ito yung ating mu k. Palaging mas mataas yung coefficient of static friction kaysa sa kinetic. Always take note of that. Para hindi kayo magkagulo-gulo. Trivia lang. Okay. Now, ano yung gagamitin natin ngayon mga bis? Yung ating bang static friction or kinetic friction. Take note kung ano yung nangyayari sa system nyo. Sabi sa system, stop. Diba? Kapag nakastop siya, ibig sabihin at rest. Kapag at rest, gagamitin nyo yung coefficient ng static friction. Kapag moving siya, kinetic friction yung gagamitin nyo. So, since nakastop siya, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, aside sa mga forces na involved dito, magdadagdag pa tayo ng isang force kasi nga meron ng friction na nangyayari dito sa baba and that's friction is static friction F sub S diba? F sub S ngayon, saan yung direction ng ating static friction? palagi yung tatandaan mga bis no, na ang direction ng ating friction ay always counter ng motion diba? Okay, so ibig sabihin nito mga bis, since yung gravity is pulling it downwards yun yung motion natin eh yung motion natin is papuntang downward. So, para ma-counter yung motion na yun, yung static friction natin is acting upwards. So, this is F sub S. Alright? So, paano natin masusol yung F sub S? That's the formula. Multiply nyo yung coefficient of static friction sa ating normal force. So, a coefficient ng ating static friction or the mu S is equal to 0 0.20 times sa ating uh, normal force which is equal to 48 newtons. So, multiply nyo lang yan. Grab your calcule. 48 times 0.2, that's equal to 9.6. So, let's just uh, assume that it's 10 newtons. No? So, that's 10 newtons. Okay? So, gamitin ulit natin yung ating uh, particle equilibrium formula kasi at rest pa naman siya. So, na, ano natin to So, summation, the force in the x direction is equal to 0. Therefore, 0 is equal to, ano yung mga forces na pataas? That's the main force, no? Plus F sub S. Bakit positive yung F sub S? Kasi it's also directing upwards, no? Minus yung ating F sub J. Okay? So, para ma-solve natin yung F, no? Transpose natin sa kabilang side ng equation, magiging negative to. Negative F sub S plus F sub J. So, just input yung mga values. Ang ating F sub S, mga bis ay negative 10 newtons. Plus, ano yung F sub J natin? is equal to 34 newtons. Okay, so compute mga bis, the value of our F would be equal to 34 minus 10, that's equal to 24 newtons. So from this alone mga bis, makakabukoy ng conclusion, di ba? Kapag frictionless, mas marami yung force na kailangan yung i-apply para hindi siya mag-slide. Uh, Kasi nga, mga bis, kapag, kapag may friction na dito sa ating ramp, no, ibig sabihin nun, may tutulong sa'yo na mag, parang force na para ma-lift yung uh, para ma yung ating block upwards. So kapag frictionless, take note, mas mataas dapat yung kailangan yung force na i-apply para hindi siya mag-slide. Since this is 34 and this is 24. All right, so let's now solve for our last problem, mga bis, no? Okay? So sabi sa ating last problem, no? What will be the value of the force if the velocity is constant and is directed upward? 
parallel lines. Sabi dito, alright mga bis, so letter C na tayo. What will the value of the force be if the velocity is constant and is directed upward parallel to the incline? So sabi dito, gumagalaw na siya, hindi na siya at rest. So parang yung force dito is hinihila na siya to be moving at a constant velocity upward. Diba? So ito yung force na yun. Since constant velocity pa rin siya, it is still in particle equilibrium. Okay? So pwede pa rin nating magamit yung uh, formula, yung equation na summation of forces in the x is equal to 0, summation of forces in the y is equal to 0. Alright. Pero mga bis, meron tayong mapapalitan dito. Hindi na natin gagamitin yung ating static friction. Yung gagamitin naman natin ngayon is kinetic friction. Bakit? Kasi mga bis, moving na siya eh, gumagalaw. So, gagamitin natin is kinetic friction. Alright? So, that's, that's the formula. Mu K times F sub M. Substitute, that's 0 0.18. Times the value of our F sub N, which is equal to 48 newtons. Yun o, oh, 48 newtons. So, calculator nyo lang, 0.18 times 48. Tama ba? Yeah, I hope so. Tama. Then, we have 8.64 approximately... 9 newtons siya. Okay. Okay, mga bis. No? So, let's now solve for letter C. Pero bago yan, illustrate muna ulit natin. Kasi parang nagugu ang gulo ng setup natin, di ba? So, yung mga forces involved ulit dito, meron tayo dito yung F, di ba? Tapos, meron tayo dito yung F sub J. Pero yung tanong ngayon, mga bis, yung ating kinetic friction, ano yung direction niya ngayon? Same pa rin ba sa ating static na pataas? Okay, let's try to uh, illustrate. No? Let's try to understand. Always take note, kapag hinahanap niyo yung direction ng kinetic friction, palaging opposite siya ng inyong motion. So, saan ba papunta yung motion? Dito kasi, sabi niya, the velocity is constant. Nag-move na siya pataas. No? So, yung motion niya is going upward. So, it means to counter that, the kinetic friction is moving downwards. Alright? Unlike kasi dito sa ating setup, sabi dito kasi, para lang mapahinto siya. So, para ano ba yung motion para mapahinto siya pababa? So, yung motion dito is pababa. Kaya yung static is pataas. Gets ba bang abis? Kailangan yung intindihin muna saan papunta yung motion bago nyo ma-identify saan yung direction ng inyong kinetic force. Alright. So, dito, gamitan na natin yung ating uh, uh, summation of x is equal to 0 kasi nga static static kasi nga nasa equilibrium particle equilibrium pa rin siya kasi constant velocity diba yun yung dalawang conditions natin so ito that's 0 is equals to force kasi yun lang yung pataas minus f sub k minus f sub j so to solve for the value of the force to have a constant velocity that's just f sub k plus f sub j add natin f sub k natin mga bis is 9 newtons plus F sub G is 34 newtons. That's equal to 4 times, uh, 4 plus 34 is equals to 43 newtons. So basically, mga bis, that's 43 newtons. 43 newtons. Ayan, mga bis. So mapapansin nyo, at different situations, depende-depende rin yung mga values ng forces na kailangan yung i-apply. So kapag imove mo yung pataas, syempre, mas kakailanganin mo ng mas malaking uh, ano, mas malaking force unlike kapag papahintuin mo lang siya sa pag-slide pa baba so ayun mga bis, I hope nakatulong ito sa inyo if you have some questions, kindly comment down below, na try natin yung sagutan so yeah, thank you for watching please like, share, and subscribe, bye bye mga bis